Let's meet Daniel who worked for the Babylonian king Daniel loved God and he tried to do the right thing Daniel was a good man and he made the kings glad But this made the other court officials jealous and mad Daniel prayed to God three times a day So the officials thought we'll get him this way They went to the king, told him to make a decree It would say no one can pray to any God but me Hello friends! It's good to have you back again. It's social norms class, and we are starting with the topic Daniel in the Lions. Then, so dear champion, I'm going to be telling you the story of how Daniel found himself in the Lions. Then, but first, I would like you to watch the story on how Daniel found himself in the Lions. Then I would like you to watch the story again and again for a better understanding. And also, I'll be asking you questions from the story. Relax and watch. Daniel was one of the Jews in Babylon. He trusted God and prayed to him three times a day. God blessed Daniel and he became a powerful leader in that country. Some leaders were jealous of Daniel, so they made a new law. People could only pray to King Darius. Whoever disobeyed would be thrown into a lion's den. Darius agreed. <laughs> Daniel still prayed to God and was arrested. Darius was sad. He liked Daniel. He realized he'd been tricked, but couldn't change the law. Daniel was thrown to the lions. The lions roared and crept up to Daniel. Then an angel arrived. It was God who sent him. The angel shut the lions' mouths. Daniel spent the night there unharmed. At daybreak, Darius went to see if Daniel was alive. God sent an angel to save me, Daniel said. The king was thrilled. Daniel was pulled out of the den. Then King Darius had Daniel's enemies thrown into the den. The lions gobbled them up. King Darius told everyone in his kingdom to honor Daniel's powerful living God. Welcome back to Class Adorable! And I hope you enjoyed the interesting story of how Daniel found himself in the lion's den. Very good. So like I told you, we will be asking questions from the story. That is why I said, make sure to watch it for a better understanding. And our first question for today is, do you want to hear it? Very good. It shows you are following. Our first question for today is, who was thrown into the lion's den? Daniel. Very good. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. Beautiful. Our next question is, why was Daniel thrown into the lion's den? He prayed to God. Very good. It's because Daniel prayed to God, he was thrown into the lion's den. And do you also know that the lion did not eat up Daniel? Yes. The lions did nothing to Daniel. And another question we have here is, where was Daniel thrown into? 
Lion's Den. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. And we can also call it a lion's home. A lion's den is a lion's home. That is it, champion. That is it. So, dear champion, till we meet again in our next class, do not forget to attempt your quiz and assignments. I love you. Bye.